There are some mysteries of the ocean that still remain vast and unexplored. But one thing is for certain, we can't fight climate breakdown without taking care of our ocean. From kelp forests to great whales in the open sea, every minute of every day, our ocean is working overtime to pull vast quantities of CO2 out of our atmosphere. Along our coasts, seagrass meadows store as much as 20 gigatons of carbon worldwide, while mighty mangrove forests store up to four times more carbon than tropical rainforests per hectare. But it's not just marine habitats that make incredible carbon stores. A single whale can store up to 30,000 kilos of CO2 in its lifetime. And every year, the tiny algae of the sea, phytoplankton, capture the same amount of CO2 as four Amazon rainforests. Blue carbon is the carbon captured and stored by marine organisms and coastal ecosystems. It plays a central role in our planet's climate system, but when it comes to climate policy, it is often neglected. Only a fraction of our ocean is under any kind of protection. Every day, coastal ecosystems are pushed further into decline and precious marine wildlife is increasingly exploited. 2021 is make or break. The outcomes of the International Biodiversity Convention talks in spring and the COP26 Climate Change Conference in autumn will define the future of our planet. They must put us on the path to a sustainable future failure is unthinkable. This year, we have a golden opportunity to ensure the protection of our ocean and set ourselves on track to undertake a mass global sea forestation project, restoring millions of acres of lush coastal and underwater forests. Along with decarbonisation across all sectors, we are urging governments to put the restoration and protection of blue carbon environments front and centre in their national climate crisis plans and to commit to global seaforestation now. Because the ocean is the blue beating heart of our planet, let's ensure that our ocean and the climate which it regulates is protected. <laughs>